Now you've seen that we've got a bunch of develop presets here. This would be the normal type of presets that you also get if you download any preset package from the internet. But the Easy Preset system also comes with the local adjustment presets. And you've seen this in the installation video where we've copied these into the respective folder. Now to use these presets, you have to use any of these three tools here on the right side. The graduated filter tool, the radial filter tool, or the adjustment brush. When I click on one of these, one of the panels uh, opens for me and you get this effect drop-down. So where it says exposure, you just click on that and you get a drop-down menu with all the presets that you can use for these targeted adjustments. And you see the EPS presets here indicated by the prefix EPS. We have a, a bunch of them for lightening, darkening, uh, warmer or cooler tones, increasing the dynamic range, some added details in the image, um, a richer sky, so more saturation and more details, to mute colors, to blow out things, which can be... Um, an interesting effect, for example, if you have a sunset image with a, sh a sun that has very sharp uh, edges. Um, blur out is um, also a preset that, that softens um, portions of the image. And then we have these vibrant morning sky and vibrant morning sky max. So all of these can be used with either the, the graduated filter, the radial filter or the adjustment brush. And now for this image, we have a typical landscape shot here. I think I'm going to try to work on the sky. And for that, I'm going to pick the richer sky preset. And you can see in the panel here, the settings for this preset. And now I'm just going to click and drag on the image to apply this graduated filter. And you see that we have more saturation, more definition in the sky. And if I turn off this filter, you can see the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. And um, the graduated filter tool works in a way such that you have this zone where above the this line here, the effect uh, or the adjustment takes full effect. And then down to this line, it is gradually decreased. So here at the bottom, um, the image is not adjusted by this filter in any way. Now, once you've added this uh, um, a gradual, graduated adjustment or graduated filter um, adjustment here, you can also go in and choose a different preset, which is then applied to this graduated filter. You can go through these and see which effect you like best. You can also go to the vibrant morning sky, which also adds a bit of a, a bit of color here in this case. It looks quite unnatural here, but in some cases, this can really help you enhance a sunset, for example. You can also use the radial filter, as I told you. And to do that, I'm just going to click on this radial filter tool here. And this time I'm going to pick the lighten adjustment which essentially raises the exposure and does a bit of adds a bit of clarity shadow and saturation and um, you can add this adjustment in this case i'm adding it to this foreground element here and if you do that lightroom is going to be is going to add this effect to the outside of the oval that you're drawing that's the the default that lightroom does to add the effect only to the inside of this circle, just click on the invert mask here. And you see that we've got this brighter spot here on this pavement. Um, now in this case, the effect is a bit too strong for my taste. I'm going to raise the feathering, which creates a much smoother transition to the outside. And of course, as with any of these presets, once you apply them, you can always change the settings that they actually apply to your image. In this case, we raise the exposure and I'm just going to take that down um, to have a very subtle light spot here in the foreground. 
Now to finish off this segment, I'm also going to show you the third tool that we have here in this targeted adjustment uh, tools palette. It's the adjustment brush. And if you click on this, you're going to get this drop down panel again. And I'm going to um, reset those settings. And in this case, I'm going to pick the enhanced details preset. And I get this little brush icon here uh, that I can also make larger or smaller. You're going to use the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard if you have an, a US keyboard. I have mapped these to other keys, but that's because I have a German keyboard. Um, and so now you can simply brush over the parts where you want to apply this filter. And you can see it's a rather subtle one. And I'm just trying to get some more definition and some more details into these clouds. And when I'm done, I can also turn this off to show the before and after. And we've just added some more details, some more mid-tone contrast to these clouds. Now with any of these targeted adjustment tools, you get such a pin. And if you right click on that pin, you can either delete it, reset the settings, or duplicate it. So if you want to make this effect stronger, you can simply duplicate it. And Lightroom is going to add another one. It just did that. It took a second. And we get a stronger effect here. You can also see this if you... Oh, okay, so I can't move it away right now. Um, but for any of these adjustment tools, uh, duplicating the pin means that you're going to add or you're going to uh, double the effect. You can also delete this and of course delete the original adjustment to go back to the original sky that we had here. And that completes the section for the targeted, targeted adjustment tools.